Hi, and today I'm going to show you a new product. Uh, it's called Artista Soft, and it's, it's a, a new medium that I found when I was down in London, um, the Cake International Show. It's a very feather light textured paste that's uh, made from non sugar. It's made from sort of corn, um, sorry, potato or rice starch. It's very, very unusual. Uh, it, just, it just looks the same as sugar, um, but it, it's, it's made from other um, edible products. Um, it's, it's just a really, really unusual product. And when I saw it, uh, I actually generally got quite excited the way I saw the lady working with it and making these uh, flowers. Now, just like any other flower, uh, once it's um, set, it's not kind of, you wouldn't really want to eat it because it's got all the wires and, and different things in it. But it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, just a little insight in how, how it works. Um, so it's, it air dries, so it, as soon as you bring out the, the packet, uh, just wrap it up in a, a bag. Um, and we've got here some Nivea cream, believe it or not. So you can use, you can use Nivea cream or you can use Trex uh, to, to make the, the rose uh, for it. So whatever, whatever you prefer. So I've got a cone here. Now the cone has got to be made from the same product. Um, it doesn't actually like mixing with sugar. Uh, so you've got to try and keep it all, all together. Um, and what I'm going to do first of all is just take some off uh, and just soften it up. And then just roll it into a, a bit of sausage, just so I get them roughly the same size. And all I want to do is just peel a bit off, just dip my fingers in there just to sort of get them, make sure they're nice and soft. And I just want to soften it up into a ball, then into a slight cone shape, flatten it down, and all I'm wanting to do is make the petal. So I'm just making it into a cone shape. Just like that, okay? And all I want to do is, just this is how I'd normally make a rose, is just place it on, wrap it around, and make the first, the first petal, just like that. And you can see no glue needed or anything, so it's just self-sticks, which is absolutely amazing. Like that, it's very, very much. It reminds me of modelling chocolate. Okay, and then just get the next piece into a ball. And then just stretch. Okay, and I just want to pop this one on here. Wrap it around. Okay, and you see I'm not I'm not cutting out, I'm just being quite random with the petals um, just to achieve this effect. Okay, oops, that wasn't good. Just put that back on. Wasn't expecting that to happen. There we go. Okay, so just wrapped the two over each other uh, just to get the start of the, 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 the rose. Okay, and then I'm just going to wrap three rounds, sort of interlocking all the way around. So one, two, three. Okay, you can see how amazingly well it just sort of softens out there. And all I'm doing is going over the join and attaching it on. Okay, and then just continue that all the way around. Okay, you can see there, just keep flattening it down. And it's just amazing how it just doesn't rip, doesn't tear. You can get it really, really thin on the ends. And just open up, and already I can feel it starting to dry already. And just to peel them back. Okay, and then just keep flattening it out. You can put it on relatively thin as well, so it's um, so you're not using too much of the product. And you can dust it the same ways as. Um, as the uh, normal sugar, just dust, so you can food, put food colour in. They recommend that you buy the colours and you mix the colours uh, to get your set colours, but you don't have to do that. Okay, so I'll just show you there. So that's the, the rose coming together there, which looks good. Okay, so, um, so 
and we just want to move on. So uh, I want to just make sort of maybe four slightly larger ones. And you can see hardly any effort at all to make it. And just keep flattening it down. You can actually put it in a bag as well. If you do prefer using your thumb, uh, you, can, you can do it in the bag. Um, but this just seems so much easier doing it this way. and just flatten down. So I'll just pop these other two on and I'll finish off with a five and then that's it finished. The one thing uh, it does when it finishes it's actually so strange just because it is actually so light as a feather. So when you give it to someone to hold on to, the, they do this because they think it's going to be heavy. It's actually very, very light. Okay, so do you see there? And you can see you can just curl it around if you want, just like a, how a rose looks. So you can see it doesn't dry too fast. And if you feel that you want to just tweak it, you can still move it around. I just went and bash the middle of it. There you go. Okay. And I really just want to finish off with uh, five large petals on the outside. Let's give me a big one, maybe too big. Let's tear some off the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to curl it around a little bit before I put it on. Okay, and I just start over one of the joins and attach it on. Let's take some off. Okay, just keep on pressing, just to, if you feel like your hands are getting a bit dry, just use the, the cream. Okay, and you can just curl it over. You can wrap it over a, a teaspoon if you want, just to, to get that shape. It's definitely a nice way to, to make a very quick open rose. And of course, if you want to add an extra layer when it's even bigger, just, just wait till it dries. Just give it, it doesn't take long at all. And then once it's dry, they can then start adding even, even more layers onto it. Okay, last two. And the last one. Okay, and again, just curling that around. 
like so. Okay, so just want to go around and just fix that. And of course, because there's quite a lot underneath there, I can actually stretch some of that off. So I'm not wasting as much. There we go. It's better. And there we go. So very, very fast. You can just go around and tweak it if you want. Just if you want to make it a little bit more. But you can see a lovely, just a nice big juicy rose. Doesn't take long to make. And I can still tweak it just to get that finished look from it. And there we go. Just like that.